Welcome back. You're still watching Sunrise Daily News Analysis on Biafra Television. And of course, we are reaching you from Biafra Land. My name is Ngozi Chukwoka. I have Mazi Oki okay, with me in the studio, and I have uh, Mazi Elvis Omudi with me on email discussing the issues we have here this morning, the reports coming from different Nigerian newspapers. And uh, right now, the lines are open for you to call in and make your contributions. Uh, but before that, let's take um, the remaining headlines we have here. FBI arrests 22 Nigerian credit card fraud stars in New Jersey. That's coming from Hope, Nigeria. All 22 people have been charged with theft by deception, wrongful impersonation, and conspiracy. More arrests are expected, said Hudson County Assistant Prosecutor Juno. The names are as follows. Olada Yuara Romi, Bolaji Ola, 30 years, Ola Mide Oti, 27 years, Akin Tunde Adeyemi, 28 years, David Brown, 27, Adegbola Adedeji, 31, Oluwa Sheyin Jato, 23, Oluwa Shola Deji, 31, Olada Kbo Ara Romi, 26, Bernard Ahaneku, 25, Oluwa Sheyin Adekoya, 25, Henry Abdul, 25, Babatunde Oyefeso, 27, Michael Asse, 24 years, John Orubo, 32, Idris Shoyemi, 25, Ibrahim Akaba, 23, Ives Desire, 29, Olutoya Babatunde, 22, Olukayode Adelshun, 30, Olushola Ayeni, 31, All Wells Oyakure, 24. Okay, uh, Mazi Elvis, um, so far you've had 22 Nigerian credit card fraud stars in New Jersey arrested. What do you think? What do you have to say? What is going on? Um, I think uh, this time around, the U.S. is really, really uh, hell-bent on um, arresting lots of them over there and exposing them. What could be the reason? Because they've been there for years. sister that if you look at it right now these are the major tax and the reason why the IPOB is clamoring shouting agitating for Biafran restoration because when you look at it right now you will see that the Biafrans are the highest immigrants that migrates away from their own land every day by day millions are migrating out of their land to foreign and greener pastures they want their life to be broadened and when you get to that very place those are the things you believe that these are a kind of creative uh, 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 situations when you get there you find yourself being messed up because the the, 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 the background and the foundations of where you left from has nothing to offer you than where you went to. And if the government of the day concerning the contractions that are clamoring for one Nigeria and whatever has put things in place, why will anybody travel? Okay, now, for example, South Africans, you don't see them anywhere. Cameroonians, they just started traveling because of the problem that is on ground. Nigeria Republic, even as poor as they are, you don't see them anywhere. We don't to think of Nigeria, I mean, what the Republic, just Bene here. They don't travel anywhere. They enjoy, they derive the dividends of their government. They facilitate, they facilitate even if they don't have much, but they, are, they have continuous, steady light. Their road networks are very okay. That could help even the, 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 the less privileged to a kind of start up a little thing. But in our own, we don't have those amenities. We are not opportunities. We don't have even rights to do the ones we could do because there are no support from anywhere. Even if you want to do the government, we chase you out. And those of them that are there being arrested. Um, what I would say to them is that when um, uh, situations becomes uh, a kind of when your preferable is not available, it happens that the, the, the available has to be accepted. And uh, by accepting such, you have to check very well. You have to look very well to know if this thing is going to pay you or not. 
in the sense that they, you are rejected you don't have to uh, kind of enforce yourself into something that will uh, kind of allow your enemy to mock or laugh at you because why they are chasing us away is to mock us is to laugh at us is to see us being jailed is to see us being killed is to see us not return back so that they could they lay hands on our wife on our children even on our land their properties so we have to be very much conscious of what we actually do or what we engage ourselves because not everything that not everything that good not everything that great us are good so we have to be very much conscious and um, um uh, uh, the the government and the fbi that are doing all this should have known that the people that they suppose hold responsible is these criminals that are still the major amount of money and invested into their bank and invested into the revenues in their country they should have arrested them put them because our money that we are supposed to a uh, kind of use to develop uh, the youths to develop the ground has been banned put in their place and they knew it and they accepted they are the biggest scammer because if they wish you if we should start to tell ourselves the truth anybody that supports criminal a criminal itself as they support the politicians to steal money and they kind of put it into their bank and they save it for them, I don't see any reason if they could not arrest them. I don't see any reason arresting those of them that are taken from the crumbs from the master's table because what those of them that are taking is from the, the crumbs that fell from the master's table. The master has to be queried. The master, the chief criminal, the chief, the, 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 the culprit has to be arrested and queried. And if, if, you, if you want to stop any problem, you have to start from the foundation. You have to start from the grassroots. You have to start it from where it started. Because if the governments are not scammers, and the people that are protecting them are not criminals, I don't see the reason why somebody should travel to abroad and start doing something that is unlawful. So they know the truth. The arresting them will not stop the problem. What will stop the problem is to stop it, arrest the people that instigate, the people that implement the problem. And when they are arrested and release the money, the youths, those of them will be released and give them the money to a kind of to, to empower them to start up something. So this is what I have to say. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much on that. And lastly, let's look at um, the last one coming from Siva. Say, Siva describes Nigeria as the laughing stock in oil business. That's from Kebo. Timmy Priya Silva. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources says Nigeria is currently a laughing stock in the way it operates business in the oil and gas sector. The minister said the country must bring down the cost of production of its crude oil in order to prevent further losses. We have to bring down our cost of production of crude as we are presently a laughing stock in the way we do our business. Okay, so what do you have to say about this? We know who the Minister of Petroleum is so yeah. far and um, Say Nigeria is a laughing stock. We know Nigeria is a laughing stock in all ramification, uh, but coming up to say in the oil sector, and then the president is in charge, which um, means things are supposed to work well. Okay, we'll have a caller on Skype. Hello. Call on Skype. Good morning from here. Welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning from here. What on goes? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. What's an email? Where are you calling from? Okay, good morning once again. Uh, uh, brother Avis, good morning. Uh, my name is uh, my name is Pastor Jack. Good morning. I'm calling from here this Pastor. morning. Uh, I just quickly want to contribute to uh, our, our one of the headlines we went through. Uh, says the Ohanes uh, youth caution on uh, the evil youth on the attack against attack to, to Jubilee in, in Japan. Well, without uh, wasting a bunch of our time, we have, we, IPO, we have gone past that stage. We are no longer in that stage whereby they give them 14,500, they pay 4,000 to go and give uh, any of the media outlets, those ones that waste the past. One sleepers and one trust will just go and issue statement that they are in their house. Nobody knows them. They can't even meet together. So we have gone back past that stage where idiots will come out and begin to say, uh, uh, Those of us are agitated, we don't have the house, we don't have this one. For your information, I mean, I mean, I'm a banker. 
bank banking in profession and uh, and are also a crazy man. So you all those things you are saying are just we are just trying to divert attention. And uh, let me remind you before you forget, it might not even be a platform person that wrote that thing. One full person will just go and give a a media outlet five or ten thousand, they will just issue statement in the name of one or Koro or one in Sigos or what the nonsense. Later, they will call him and send him a military card. So, we have gone past that stage. We were no longer in that stage. One thing is clear anything we say we are going to achieve, I pray that God will get to achieve it. That is just the thing. We are certain, we are persistent, we are focused. Nobody, we, we are not, we, we, we don't divert our attention. I just want to remind them, but they can keep on playing to the gallery, wasting their time. But one thing I must tell them, any person that make any move or your name is being dented or your name, name is being used against IPOB, your name must enter into our black book. You know what I mean? Your name must enter into our black book. So you can do whatever thing you want to do. We have just set the pace. We are not in, in laser doors. We have not entered the tournament. All the corrupt politicians in the whole of government, both medical support and others, we, 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 we will demand all of them. That is just a clear example. And Jubri, we must catch Jubri and arrest him. If he escapes Japan, he will escape other places. And then you people will know that we are determined. Because it's not yet done on you people. But at the end, all of you, your eye will, will, will go to. We are no longer begging you to accept the truth. Or keep on deceiving yourself and whatever you go on. But in the end, you will understand. I don't want to waste much of our time, my sister. God bless our leader. And God bless every other person working as much as we have in all of you. That's it. I'm making sure we this gospel. We got it with all of you. And I want to share from here. And then I'll share from the judge. All right, dear friend. Dear friend, we held it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much on that. Okay, please so, go ahead. So, uh, Buhari, being the Minister of Petroleum, everybody should understand and expect this to happen. Nigeria on its own do not know anything as long as oil business is concerned. Imagine a rich country like Nigeria that produce oil, but they do not have working refineries just to make their own product available for the people. They just, you know, useless it, do it anyhow. The British government also help them to, to make sure that this thing is just a waste to them. Remember the deal that uh, Yaradua had with uh, one of uh, the British company. Then, before he died, that they want to supply gas from here, from Nigeria, to the British. And all of a sudden, the, the good luck, I mean, uh, Yaradua died, and that agreement was not met. And when good luck, Abele Jonathan came on board, he saw the fraudulent of this agreement, that it is not something that will work out. They had to boycott it. And now, the British company has sued Nigeria that they are going to pay them 9.6 billion dollars because that agreement was not met and now Nigeria is going to pay that money because the British government has also gone into that matter and of course they are going to pay so Nigeria on their own do not eat other countries of the world they refine it and still sell it to us but we produce it we don't, so Nigeria do not know anything as long as oil business is concerned. And to make the matter worse, Buhari who do not even have a YX certificate, not to talk about university certificate, or not to talk of any knowledge about what science and technology is concerned, or, you know, oil is managing the office of the presidency and that of the oil minister or petroleum minister, and Jubri now on board. So that is just to tell you how everything will just be. So, hello, caller, what's up? Good morning. Yes, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead, we can hear you. Uh, good morning. I, I just dropped on the uh, on, on Skype. I, I, I was not hearing you. Okay, I, I, I called the phone on Skype, but I was not hearing it, so I don't know. Okay, now, no, 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 no problems. Go ahead. What's your name and where are you calling from? Oh. Okay. Okay, my, my name is Pastor Jack, and I'm calling from Lagos once again. I 
I appreciate the government. But, but we heard you. We heard you. We heard you very well. I appreciate well, all of you. Uh, uh, Hello, Pastor Jack. Yeah, you called on Skype. We heard you very well. You you made yeah. your comments already. Do you have something else to add? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 all right. Call us on WhatsApp. Our WhatsApp line is zero nine zero five double six zero eight five eight three. 0905-668583. That's our WhatsApp line. Our phone line is 0702-0353706. Once again, 0702-0353706. That's our phone line. Call us also on Skype and Facebook. Our Skype and Facebook ID is at Sunrise BTV. Colors and let's know your opinion. What do you think uh, about what is going on, the issues at hand, or the headlines we've discussed this morning? What do you have to say about them? And of course, do you think IPOB in Japan should still uh, keep, you know, searching for the man in Asurok? All right. Hello, caller. What's up? <laughs> Call on WhatsApp. Good morning from here. Can you hear me? Yeah, good afternoon here. Yeah. Good afternoon, all the Indian Gershans. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters in the studio. You're welcome. Yeah, I can hear you. Good day. What good can afternoon, from? You are all the Indian Gershans. Good afternoon, my brothers in the studio. Um, I want to hear this. I'm first. I, for sorry, I'm calling from here. My name is Mazi Tisom. Have we forgot what happened? Something that was done. That the first. When we went to the foreign conference, when we went to the uh, uh, conference, there. All right, sorry, we can't hear you. The network is really, really poor. It's really poor. And we can't hear you. Try and call back. Let's see how it goes. The network is very, very poor. Call us on WhatsApp. Call us on our phone line. Call us on Skype. Call us also on Facebook. Let's know. Uh, let's see how it goes. We're having um, network challenges. Don't forget also that we need your support to keep this place going. We need the support to get a stable internet, stable internet, very, very important, so that we can have an effective communication, so that the, the program will be a very smooth one. We also need to update some of our equipment, so please try and reach out to us. Let's make it work. It's really important. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis on Biafra Television, and we are transmitting simultaneously on Radio Biafra. The lines are open for you to call in and make your contributions. What do you think? Okay, um, Mazi Elvis will still have our people in Japan. Do you think it is still necessary for them to keep waiting? Uh, you know, we, we also saw a video clip and a report that the Nigerian government, the impostor um, Jubril al Sudani, had seen, uh, had met with the South, um, South Africa president. So what do you also have to say about that? We saw the place, according to them, they, they did the video and the both of them we are discussing. So do you think, do you think that also is um, fake? Or maybe, an, uh, you know, a fake video? Just hold on, please. Call on WhatsApp. Hello. sisters in the studio and good afternoon IPOB all over the world. 
my greetings and my thanks go to Almighty God. God bless Mazi Mandekalu wherever he is. I'm going to open more of his eye and protect him. All the coordinates of Papa remember again in the name Chukukike Abiyama. You see, as a last talk, oh yeah. It's not, a it's not a surprise in the first republic I'm full of man what how many mineral resources that Nigeria has this was said I'm strikes it's not a laughing Uh, uh, good morning. Your name and location, please. I hope I'm calling that clear. Go ahead, can Hello? You? Please go ahead. We lost that call. The network is terrible this morning. Call on WhatsApp. Hello. Hello, call on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? All right, call on the phone. Hello. Hello. What's the name? Where are you calling from? Uh. Hello. We can hear you, please. Where are you calling Hello. from? Hello. What's your name? Uh, so, uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Chima Joseph Onyechuku. I hope I'm calling out clear. We can hear you. If you're not coming out clear, we... When we say we can't hear you, then you should know. But the moment we say go ahead, you should know we have heard you. Very, very important. Please, don't call us and start asking, are you coming out clear? Please. All right, call on the phone. Hello. Hello, call on the phone. Are you there? Okay, uh, that's the much you can take for today because the, the network is really terrible. The network is terrible. If you're still watching, please, um, we need your support to keep this place going. Partner with us, let's fix things and then we'll have a smooth running program. All right, before we go, Mazi Elvis, what message do you have? Please, if you want me to kneel down at the express, I will come to the express and kneel down and beg you guys. 1,000 is something, 10,000 is something. Please, just contribute so that we will continue to tell you the truth. Because it has been long, we've been in darkness. So this is all I want to talk today, this is all I want to share. We have our WhatsApp. After the program, call the WhatsApp or call the Facebook. Somebody will respond to you and direct you on what to do. 100 naira is something. Please. Don't just put your money where it doesn't where it doesn't worth it. He are worth it because we give you this thing through your chat. So thank you very much. My next remains Mars the Elvis Omudi where I am signing up here to come back again in a few minutes. Thank you and bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so uh Mazi, okay, what message do you have for our viewers for today? I would uh, say that the slow movement of a lion is not out of uh, sluggishness but a means to calculate the accuracy of the road. Of course. We are friends all over the world. Uh, we are here to serve you better, and there is no need to retreat, and we will not plan to do that until Biafra is restored. Uh, we say thank you very much. Keep being resolute. The agitation to arrest Jubri is still going on, and as long as as soon as we do that, you will hear how it will go. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, our viewers. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for believing us. We urge you to please. Uh, reach us and see how to, uh, let's see how to get things fixed. And don't forget to join us again, same time, same station tomorrow. I remain Ngozi Chukwoka. Bye for now.